Hey, Chris, what do you love? So I love uh, a little uh, an LP. That's what it's not a little LP, uh, but because uh, it's a what is it? Long LP stand for longer? With longer play, uh, an LP that I listened to that was released back in uh, September uh, of twenty September fifteenth of twenty twenty three, and was released by three amazing musicians by the name of Stephen Johnson, Caleb oh, Van Wy, no. <laughs> and Isaac Leggett. Uh, I love the album Friends from School. The aptly titled Friends from School by the band School Friends, a band that I Isaac really was. actually didn't realize that's what you're doing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it's something that I, I truly love. And I went back and forth on talking to you about it on this show, because I think on this podcast, I think it's I, I think it's it's one of my favorite albums of the year. I think it is one of the year's best albums. So I, I, I I'm very passionate about this album. And I think it's. It's weird because I am talking to you. You are my friend. But I think independently of that, uh, this is just a really great, uh, it's really great sort of like pop punk album for kind of like the first pop punk sort of like, uh, what would you say, rock album. I guess I would describe it for the first three tracks and then it becomes kind of more kind of more like a ballad and anthemic kind of like songs after that and then everything kind of culminates in a nice way in the nice track in the in the final track um and yeah i just i really think it's a it's an album worth listening to um i've listened to it many many a times it's something i love a lot so thank you isaac for for working with some friends to make that amazing music because i i really love it Oh, thanks, man. That that actually means a whole lot. That was I was not okay. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I that that's the coolest. I yeah, my my band school friends put out an album, you know, a couple months ago at this point, and it took us. Yeah. We worked on it forever because we just you know only had so much time and kept wanting to just like rehearse and play music and get loud and not finish editing shit and recording stuff and um but it was it was really nice and we're you know we're we're going over some new material now and planning cool. to record the next one soon hopefully cool. um but yeah it's called friends from school and it was a lot of fun and uh, uh it's cool thank you um i think that shit. it 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 shows that you guys put in a lot of work uh i'll shout out just two tracks i'm gonna shout out thread because thread i think is my i think it's my favorite al- uh, song on the album just because you guys i'm pretty sure you guys use a rain stick in the opening and closing and i love any Hell's song yeah. that uses a rain stick so that was that was pretty epic and Hell's yeah. i think uh if anyone so if anyone is interesting in listening to school friends uh you know you might be going like ah look at these guys jerking each other off right now if anyone is interested <laughs> in listening to school friends true. i think they're a great band i will suggest one song to start with which is congratulations and i suggest that song because i think it's i think uh in the future it's going to be seen as an all-timer i think that it's a very beautifully constructed song that is something that leaves you with an invigorated feeling at the end of it while it still kind of deals with a conflicted feeling associated with the word con- congratulations the feeling of kind of like <laughs> change and the bittersweet feelings of change but also a feeling of growth and and moving forward and it's it's an, uh, I, it's a really cool song that i love and uh yeah if you were interested in listening to the album start with that song and then I think you'll listen to the rest. I appreciate that. I always tell people to just take a half an hour and listen to the th- listen to the well, album. Well, that's true. Uh, but I mean, no, it is no, only no, thirty true. minutes. It's, it's a quick listen. Absolutely good. Point. It's a quick listen. It's seven <laughs> songs. When we sell, when we play live shows and we sell CDs for it, we're like we're selling uh, we're selling a CD. It's eight dollars. It's a dollar for each song and one for the disc. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ever considering a vinyl, or would that be just too much to kind of? Oh, it'd be way do? too much fucking money. Okay, and like, and and like the mix that. Hopefully, the next thing that we record is gonna. You know, we learned a lot in the recording process of this one, so hopefully, the next one's gonna be a little bit more dynamic and a little, uh, a little better realized in like the 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 sonics and the acoustics wow. of it. Um, oh my god! So well, we'll it's gonna be, we'll, we'll it's gonna have be to like, get there. In the words of Batman Forever, it's going to be fucking joygasmic because it already seemed that way to me uh, before. But that cool. that word felt so out of place in Batman. Forever, <laughs> him saying joygasm—that was one of those things where I was just like, 
Like, like, what the fuck is that doing here? Like, I, I don't remember causing any sort of turmoil for me in the past, so it's not like it's actually a problem for children. But I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I almost, I almost pitched you Joygasm for like, like we're asking our Joygasm audience to pick your take. <laughs> Joygasmic? Yeah, Jesus. No, thank you. <laughs>